what those stacks look like. They are a dual trumpet design. Uh, they're obviously trying to have two harmonics going on here, but uh, they pretty much behave like as if they're just singles um, when you compare them against the 2006 stack. Got a couple different dinographs up here comparing. Uh, I'm trying to compare velocity stacks because this thing's got an abnormal set of velocity stacks on it. And uh, we've done a lot of tuning on various different R6s. Um, we got some different years and models. Uh, there are some differences there. I do believe that these stacks could be useful to a earlier model that does not have moving velocity stacks. One example here would be this first red line is a 2006 model. Um, I didn't do any particular tuning on this one, but the air fuel was relatively decent. Um, and our this bike here is the other red line, uh, making a decent gap all the way across uh, versus that one. I do have another tuned version of the same year model. I will show that in comparison in a moment. Um, but we have a set of stacks that move is the orange line there and then this blue one would be a similar year to this bike that we did a level three tune on that still had original uh, or that had a combination of stacks on it um, so all of it being Yamaha parts but the right combination of parts uh, it ended up making more power everywhere um, so when we're comparing against uh, what's already available from Yamaha. It's not a phenomenal performer. So the 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 red here uh, making 113 horsepower, but on other Yamaha parts with moving stacks, we were able to make 121. Um, that is not a built motor. That just happened to be a really good uh, stock motor. And then we have a one with a stock air box uh, here with the uh, with the orange line, uh, those make pretty good low-end torque. Um, unfortunately, I don't have RPM graphs on, I don't always log our RPM, especially since the mile an hour and RPM match pretty pretty close. They uh, revved to 16,000 RPM and we got uh, 160 mile an hour. Um, and then we have a second example of a uh, tuned variant. Um, so, uh, or sorry, the brown graph there is actually the blue one before it was tuned. And now we got uh, the one with the stock air box as well as a 2006 uh, that was fully tuned. They both are very comparable, um, but uh, these stacks do do slightly better um, in that area. That could also be a matter of the year of the bike. Um, but nonetheless, they do perform very uh, similar and that would be a gain for an older model but I do not see a point in putting these stacks on uh, something with a modern airbox on it. Uh, there's other ways of tuning it to get that and out. You may have seen on our previous build that we did use some grave stacks on uh, R6. Uh, those do make some horsepower, but they do not make as much torque as the factory ones do, uh, but they are not uh, compatible with each other. I would love to be able to put some pieces of the factory ones in the grave stacks uh, but uh, this is how this one rolled. Uh, get you a video on it right now.